living on a boat. <laughs> it's a Saturday and we were getting ready to be like, oh, there's a spoons in town, let's go have a spoons breakfast. And then I was like, hey, it Amy. It stops serving in about an hour. But we have time to get there. And then I was like, Amy, I think I just heard a fuel boat. And they're like, nah, you didn't. We did. Cancel breakfast, we need more coal. <laughs> Go, go. Fuel done. Got some more coal, a bit more diesel, and then we've quickly got changed. That fuel boat is so nice. Jules fuels. They're so lovely. Now we're going to try and head into town, see if we can get ourselves a spoons breakfast before it closes. And if you don't know what spoons is, it stands for Weather Spoons, which is a chain that does cheap and cheerful pub grub. was established in 1965 and Batchworth Lock Canal Centre is the northern gateway into the park. The Colne Valley Park covers more than 40 square miles and is the first real taste of countryside to the west of London. It is also a living, working environment, providing employment and homes for many people, as well as being a haven for wildlife. Got some hot chocolates from the Lock Cafe. Look at that. So we've got some hot chocolates from the Lock Cafe and now we're going to take them for a walk around the Aquadrome. <laughs> Drove. Now we're going to take them on a walk around the Aquadrome. I always been struggling to say that for so long. <laughs> Capture it. You just have to trust us, it looks nice. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, good boy. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Come on, then, in. Going 
got one not very excited boy and one very excited boy. <laughs> Charlie's getting very old and rusty. <laughs> it's time. So we've been staying in the spots now for two weeks and it's wonderful. We are loving it. It's so much more relaxing. We feel like we've got so much more time. The big downside though is we have to wheel the cassettes and go and get water by hand just so we can keep the facilities going for the two weeks. So that's what we're doing this morning before we start work. I wonder if any of my other colleagues have to do this before they clock in. Final challenge is going up onto the main road and having to stop the traffic with our cassette to get over. So this is where the trolley really comes in. Look at that. These stairs for breakfast. What a dream. And here's the morning traffic. My poo's going through. <laughs> And I'm getting us some more water. Now it's time to go back. Shot and oh, you stopped. Sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <sighs> now we can use the toilet and have a small amount of water. Now that that's done, I can clock in for a full day at work. It's just the annual soaring open your solar panels. Everyone does this, right? And before people comment, we've tried to buy stainless steel ones. They don't work. Well, they don't exist. What's wrong with this method, anyway? Make sure no one's going to steal our hay and puppy pads. Just a pretty standard thing for you to hear while working from home.
Is that? Could it be? <laughs> so last year we bought this Gold C 21 volt max. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Portable chainsaw. Yeah. So last year we bought this Gold C 21 volt portable chainsaw with a six inch blade. This isn't a sponsored bit, because quite frankly, Bruce doesn't need sponsors. What up, Bruce? Rock's the best footwear for this. Turns out, surprisingly, no. <gasps> oh no, the splinters! <laughs> oh. It feels so good foraging your own wood. We get so excited when we can forage our own wood, like, sustainably make use of it and there's just something really good about learning the skills yeah and it's free as well it saves money and it's just like learning the skills to like just keep warm something so simple it's keeping warm there's a lot of skill that goes into it and it's just nice to learn that stuff and you get to look really cool while you're at it dun, dun. that's the stance of someone who knows how to use a six inch electric portable chainsaw Oh, serious note it's really good it's not going to chop you the biggest log but if you don't want a chainsaw that comes with having to be serviced petrol that kind of thing it's a great alternative for just like little logs that will keep you going and yeah for beginners we really like it so we'll link it down below <laughs> Now. Just got to dry them out thoroughly before we burn them. So we're about to leave Rickmansworth tomorrow after two weeks here, but before there's a little Christmas event on, so we've come to see what it is. We love seeing all the little local things around Christmas, it's so nice. Nutella. Thank you. Yes, I have Nutella number one. Thank you. <laughs> that was really cute. I love like little local events like that. <laughs> After a lovely two weeks in Rickmansworth and a really nice event last night, we're up. It's time to cruise. It's absolutely freezing. It's the first like proper winter morning with frost and everything. Down there is the aquadrome and it's basically just a couple of really big lakes. We've been walking Rufus around there every day and it's been so lovely. He's been absolutely loving it, we've been loving it. It's just such a nice spot this is. It's one of the most famous boats on the network. <laughs> that is so cool. That is sick. <laughs> It's a car welded onto the back of a boat. I think they use the wheel, don't they? I think they use the wheel to steer the boat. Oh, it's just amazing. You really can do anything with a boat. <laughs> the rules are flimsy. We've genuinely been so excited to see that boat for years, ever since we saw it on Chugging Along's vlog. <laughs> it's such an iconic thing on the waterways. like we always look in people's windows <laughs> it sounds nosy but I just love looking at like people's setup and just like the kettles on the stove and like how people decorate their boats and they're just so personalized and I just love them you like it up there you're gonna be one of those roof 
dogs. Boy, that's a good view. He's not shivering because he's <laughs> scared, by the way. It's because I've attached the lead to him and now he thinks he's going on a walk. No, I didn't mean to say that word. Do you like it up there? Just chilling. Just chilling, having a chill old time. Trying to be a chill dude. <laughs> Rufus is in the spot where we normally put our tea. And that's not okay. So I'm just, just here. Just let go of just it. Just here to make sure it doesn't go in, in the drink. Just let go. You all good? No, I'm good. the difference in the sides we were able to sweep and the side we wasn't with the leaves. Guess which side I've swept. It's so calm and peaceful and quiet. The water's dead still. It's really just pretty all the way along. It's lovely. We're enjoying the GU very much so far. One of the little local fuel boats. Fuels, fuels. Use them a few times. I think this is their base. Such a nice boat. So crazy that I still feel so far away, but that was underground. Just the Cathio lock, and there's water at the top. There's a bit of a queue, and uh, by the sounds of it, the water pressure is not very good. So it's going to take a while. But Amy's left her phone at the last lock. Editor's note: time lapse on my phone. She left it filming a time lapse, and it was quite far away. So I'm going to have to go back and get it. And it makes more sense for me to go because Amy is in the bottom of the lock now on the boat. So, hopefully it's still there. It's quite far and given that there are quite a few people around, I don't want anyone to pick it up and walk off with it. So, they're going to be ages at the water point, but I want to get there hopefully find the phone and then I can take my time on the way back. I'll keep doing a little burst of running but I'm so rubbish at running. Especially in wellies. Really unlucky as well because if I was walking this far it would have been great to take Rufus and get some energy out of him. But typically this is one of the locks where he stayed on the boat. I've just got to go for it. Off. See the lock. And I've just got to find the phone. I think I can see it. I can see it. Oh. I'm still doing a time lapse. I'm so tired. Can't walk away the back now.
Just sent Amy a confirmation text. Hello? Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was flat on its screen though, so I don't think it got much. Thank you, babe. Just take, take your time, don't run back because we're still waiting in the lock, so we're going to be here for another real hour at least. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad it was still there. I'm so glad. Bye, I love you. Love you, bye. <sighs> what a relief. To be fair, given that we've been doing this two and a half years and we film time lapses on the phones quite a lot. It's only the second time that's happened. Nearly there now. I was just looking back at the footage on the time lapse. And the back of Amy's phone is quite camouflaged when it's face down, but obviously she left it propped up. And it looks like on the time lapse that someone's dog knocked it over. I always hid it until I went back. It's pretty lucky. There are the boats. I made it. <laughs> I've gone all that way and come back. They're still waiting in the lock to go on the water point. Oh, well done! Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tired. So we're at a water point. We do need to fill up, but the water point is crazy slow. But we are near where we want to moor, so I'm just going to walk ahead and scape it out while Amy does some washing. We might be here for a while and we've only got about two hours of daylight left. Well, the sun is literally going down now. We're still on the water point waiting. It is half three and it took bears about an hour to do theirs. They've gone ahead now to get the moorings. So we've just been chopping wood and washing, but a bit productive. Even though it's taken us a lot longer to get here than we thought, it's still been a really nice day. It's so pretty around here. Such a nice sunset. Well, the water point took probably about an hour. Um, so whilst that was doing, I was able to do two loads of washing while we waited for bears to fill up. Wes was able to chop two of the logs and we have filled up our water container as well. So you can't waste any time. While the water is filling up, you've got to be doing stuff. But now Wes has already scoped out the moorings up ahead and there should be a nice one for us to slot into. I hope there's some internet there. And the moon is out. I am absolutely freezing. Smashed it though. Let's go get a mooring. <laughs> Here it is. Our mooring. What a lovely quiet spot. We've been really enjoying doing like two weeks in a town and then a week just in the middle of nowhere to reset. And then two weeks in a town and then a week in the middle of nowhere. So this is going to be nice. Now we're all moored up though, we've got to tidy this mess. During the cruising, especially when we're doing facilities, it's just a whirlwind. So let's get tidy. It might be a tip, but thanks to the magic of editing, it will be clean. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm not getting up for the rest of the transition. We've tidied the boat, rabbit and dog are happy. It's time to relax. Mm -hmm. 